Hi, welcome to Barcart Bookshelf, a video series about books and the drinks they inspire. My name is Elias, and today we're looking at The House of Always by Jen Lyons. The House of Always is the fourth and penultimate volume in Lyons' A Chorus of Dragons series, epic fantasy on the absolute highest scale. The books are structurally fascinating, and by turns grand, humorous, and always emotionally resonant. Book four, The House of Always here, is a delightful blend of swashbuckling pirate adventure and haunted house story, complete with demon-mandated therapy. And so the drink that was inspired by this book had to blend genres in the same way that Lyons is doing in the book. With that in mind, it is uh, participating in a trend in the cocktail world known as aperitiki, where classical aperitif ingredients like uh, amari, or like the Italicus bergamot liqueur that are a bit bittersweet are being added to the rums and tropical flavors of tiki cocktails and that real tropical canon. The drink is called Chain the Lash in honor of the undead pirate captain who drives a portion of the narrative and really captures the essence of the piratical elements of the story. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I mean, when you have a book with a kraken like that on the cover, you really have to do something fun and tropical. But with that in mind, why don't we get started making the drink? We'll start with our base spirit, an aged rum. I'm using Grander Panama Rum. It's been aged for eight years. Look at our large side of the jigger. And it's a pleasant rum for sipping. It's also a really excellent rum for mixing cocktails. Got that just up to the line. We want an ounce and a half of our rum there. Wonderful. Get that into the shaker. And then we'll start with our sweet ingredients. So first we've got orgeat. It's an ingredient that we've used here on the channel before. It's an almond syrup, uh, a real staple of the tiki world. Nutty, floral. The one that I'm using is a small hand foods orgeat made with California almonds and a bit of orange blossom water in there to bring that sort of delicate florality. We want three quarters of an ounce of that. Wonderful, wonderful. Get our caps back on there. And then we've got two more ingredients. We've got some blue curacao. Gonna add a bit of orange flavor, a bit of dryness, and also that wonderful blue color to match the lovely teal of the book cover. Got a half an ounce of that. Beautiful. And then the drink that's going to take it from pure tiki into a paratiki, the Italicus bergamot liqueur. It's sort of citrusy, bittersweet, uh, a bit floral as well. Definitely a, a fun ingredient to play around with and very spritzy for summer and uh, spring as well. So we'll get half an ounce of that in there as well. Finally, we've got our citrus ingredient, some fresh lime juice. I always like to add the citrus last so that it can wash out whatever remains of the sweetness in your jigger. And we want a full ounce of that lime juice. Wonderful. So now we've got all of our ingredients in the shaker. We'll add our ice. As always, adding our ice last especially for these summer cocktails when ice can melt so quickly. And we'll get a good bit of ice in there. Cap our shaker with our big tin here. Seal it with the flap of your hand. And get our shake done. Wonderful. Nice and frothy. And a good tight seal on there as well. If you give that a stout tap, there we go. Ooh, love that froth in there. And then we'll get our Hawthorne strainer and strain into our highball glass. But first, I'm going to get a few fresh ice cubes in there as well. It's summer, we really want to keep it refreshing and cool. We'll get a few ice cubes in. Now, get our drink strained into there. It's this beautiful teal blue, and there we are. You can 
can see there is still a bit of space in our glass up here at the top. And that's because it's not quite a spritz without some bubbles. We'll get our soda water here in there. Ooh, some nice big, big fat bubbles of carbonation. And just sort of top that. There we go. And then to incorporate our soda water, we've got our stainless steel reusable straw. Give that a stir. And there you have it. Chain the Lash, a refreshing aperitiki cocktail for Jen Lyons, The House of Always, available now. Book one is The Ruin of Kings. Book four is The House of Always. Like and subscribe. Try the drink. Tell me what you think. And until next time, cheers.